luscious film. And the reason why we're talking about it here on Autism Live is because you're, one of your main characters is a young man who is on the autism spectrum. I, in, in watching it, I, I'll tell you what, I kind of, there was, there was an element of it, uh, have people said it's like the, the Thelma and Louise of a new generation? Has anybody said that to you? Actually, uh, a few people in some of our um, uh, audience reactions uh, at festivals across the country, I think one or two people uh, uh, mentioned uh, uh, comparison, which, you know, uh, it's a wonderful comparison. Well, I'm glad you, you like the comparison because, um, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's a road film um, in some respects, and it, it journeys through a lot of that same area of the country that Thelma and Louise did. But the relationship, it centers around the relationship between these two un unlikely survivors, this young man who's on the spectrum, and this young woman who um, is played by Rumor Willis and played beautifully, who's, who's really been through quite a bit of abuse in her life. Where did the idea for, for having these two people come together to take it on the road, uh, where did that come from? I was actually asked by a colleague of mine, uh, this was probably five, six years ago, to do a documentary um, on families with children with autism in Houston. And at that point, you know, I was a clean slate. I didn't really know much about autism. I had no one in my family that has autism. Uh, but upon getting involved in this documentary, I was uh, profoundly touched by these children and these families. Uh, I believe there were five families from different economic backgrounds and different uh, stages, uh, different um, of development. And it was really eye-opening for me because we all know uh, about autism pretty much from what we hear uh, in the media or you know, Rain Man and stuff like that. And then when I actually interacted with these children, there was this, uh, this, this light, this energy, and this joy, joy um, feeling that was coming from them because they weren't encumbered by the autism themselves. They were just living their lives. And it's all of us that put the title on these children. And some of them obviously were, you know, very limited communications. Uh, and some of them were high functioning. And, uh, but all of them had just this energy about them. And that was, that's where I got, came up with the idea. So then I, I was really moved by telling a story uh, similar to one of these children. And um, then I had met a lot of women in LA uh, when I lived there um, with such dysfunctions as Maya in the film uh, with abuse and addiction. And um, I love New Mexico, it's where I'm from. I love road trips. So I kind of put everything out together, ship it around and came up with the, the initial idea of the story. And then I, um, I teamed up with a friend of mine, Jason Ronstadt, and we wrote the script together. Well, and we, we really need to say that this is not an audience that's geared towards the autism community. This is, you know, a, a feature-length film. It's great storytelling. It's a lovely film. This is appropriate for, you know, anyone, not just in the autism community, but, I, but it has really been embraced by the autism community, and I think there are some really good reasons why, um, because it, it is... First of all, a lovely portrayal of a young man who's on the autism spectrum. Chris Marquette does a beautiful job. And the friendship that blossoms between these two people and this idea of what, for me, what I got from it is, uh, you know, what at first glance you might think is broken isn't necessarily the case. And, yeah. how, and how somebody gets through feeling broken and coming to the other side of that is sometimes a surprising and beautiful, sometimes messy, um, but a beautiful journey. And to see these two people find that together, it's really uplifting and I think puts autism in a really great light and one that's accurate.